English sportsmen and women hold world titles in a variety of sports, including professional boxing, rowing, marathon running, snooker, squash, and motorcycle sports. Olympic oarsman Steve Redgrave remains the epitome of sporting achievement in England, having won a gold medal in each of five successive Olympic Games. England is also the original home of many international sports, at least in their modern form, including rugby, football, soccer, cricket, tennis, and boxing. All these have a big following, particularly football, which has been England's national game since the establishment of the Football Association in London in 1863. 2002 was a major year for sport in England. Between July 25 and August 4, Manchester was home to the Commonwealth Games, which was the biggest sporting event ever held on English soil. The government, led by the Secretary of State for Culture, Media and Sport, plays a key role in promoting and funding sport. The Secretary of State also heads the Sports Cabinet, which identifies strategic priorities for sport and includes the ministers responsible for sport in all the UK administrations. Each country in the UK has its own sports council. In England, this is known as Sport England, an organization responsible for leading the development of sport throughout the country. Sport England aims to get more people involved in sport, more venues for playing sport, and more medals by achieving higher standards of sporting performance. It is also responsible for distributing funds for sport from the National Lottery. England is home to several famous sporting venues, such as Twickenham, the home of English Rugby Union, Wimbledon, where the All England Tennis Club plays annual host to the world's most prestigious lawn tennis championship, Lords and the Oval, venues for international cricket. The majority of the UK's 50,000 football clubs are in England, where the game is played at a competitive level in most schools and in rough-and-ready form whenever a few young people gather. At the elite level, there is massive following for big clubs in the fiercely competitive football Premier League. Manchester United, Arsenal, Chelsea, and Liverpool, among others, have fans from all over the world. England captain and Manchester United player David Beckham has become a national hero. Meanwhile, women's football is the fastest growing sport in England and is about to overtake netball as the women's game with the largest number of players. In England, 320 football clubs are affiliated to the Football Association, FA, which governs the FA Premier League and the Football League. The Football League has three further divisions, which play more than 2,000 matches between them in the football season between August and May each year. While football remains England's national sport, and by far the wealthiest of England's professional sports, cricket, rugby, in both rugby league and rugby union versions, tennis, running, and athletics are all actively enjoyed. Most of these are standard sports in England's schools, alongside activities such as rounders, netball, and swimming. Sport England leads various initiatives to encourage young people in the 6 to 16 age group to make the most of sporting opportunities at school and in the community. As the proportion of older people in England steadily grows, there is evidence to suggest that increasing numbers of older people are taking part in physical activities, including organized sports. Golf is still enjoyed primarily among middle-aged and older people, but there are growing numbers of younger people attracted to this sport, some of whom have the option to play it as part of their school sporting curriculum. Cycling as an individual and family activity has grown enormously in England, and there is a fast-developing national network of recommended cycling routes. Dedicated cycle lanes are increasingly common in London and the major cities, as well as on main roads in many rural areas. Events such as the London and Newcastle marathons are attracting upwards of 30,000 participants each year, including more disabled runners and older people. England also has a long tradition of more adventurous sports. There are plenty of opportunities for rock climbing and mountaineering, canoeing, whitewater rafting and hang gliding, while the extensive coastline, river estuaries and lakes are home to dinghy racing, yacht sailing, and windsurfing.